Morning, everyone. Back to our morning routine of the daily prayer, the daily message. And today we are doing Luke 9, 48. Um, and Luke 9, 48 is all about, For the one who is least among all of you is the one who is the greatest. Wow. So that's an amazing thing. And uh, shall we pray so that we can... We can get into this uh, Bible reading for today. Thank you. Luke 9, verse 48. Luke 9, verse 48. Wow. This chaos. We're back to school today, so that's why we're a bit all over the place. <coughs> Girls, you ready? Thank you. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for your presence today, and Lord, as we continue to seek you and give adoration to you lord and glory to you for your amazing love and amazing things that you do in our lives father we confess that we have always made mistakes along the way and that lord we continue to correct those mistakes with the help of your holy spirit that fills us now we thank you for all the things that are happening in our lives we thank you for the divine innovation we thank you for Alpha and all the guests that are coming. We thank you for the weekend, Lord. We thank you for our church and the growth that we're having. We thank you for the life team. We thank you for our business. We thank you, Father, for all the work that you give us and all the time that we can now learn to prepare and, and gather. We thank you for all the conferences that are coming up. Lord, we thank you for our staff. We thank you for the gift of being able to let our girls go to school and for them to have such a wonderful education and, and just so many things, Lord. We just thank you for, for all the, the effort that you put into our lives and, Lord, that you help us to guide us and grow us. And again, Lord, we pray for, we pray for Corin and her, her struggles. We pray for people at church and that are going through time, tough times. All the people I prayed for on Sunday, Lord, you know who they are in all these circumstances, Lord, as you can just continue to, to be upon them and, and to heal them, to, and to have your will be done in their lives, Lord. So thank you for all of those prayers, Lord. Thank you for us. Thank you for bringing Mommy home safely, and Lord, may she be inspired by all the things she learned, and may we continue to seek and to grow in your kingdom, in Jesus' name. And Amen. Oh yeah, and we pray for Frosty. We don't know where he is, Lord. We just pray that you bring him back. May he be somewhere just... and. May he just waltz in here today as nothing has ever happened. And we thank you for that, Jesus, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Oh, thank you, Papa. So, uh, Sierra Lee's soccer team ended last year's season in last place. It didn't feel good to be last, to be least in the league. This year, Sierra Lee's team wasn't last. But his friend, Rebecca, but her friend, Rebecca, was on the last place team. Sarah Lee knew just how Rebecca felt. Instead of talking about winning, she went over to cheer her, her sister up. Sarah Lee showed compassion. That means she understood and cared about how another person felt. She showed humility by putting, Why is Sarah Lee putting her... Why Sarah Lee the good one? Her, her sister first. Jesus wants us to grow in compassion and humility. This is how we become great in his kingdom. We all grow in humility and service to others. We are all winners. God, you make all people great. Help me see that. Sally, I so, was winning. Mm. Uh huh. Uh -huh. So it's not about winning gold. I was last place, you were But you know what, Sarah Lee had seen that there was an opportunity for humility and, and, kindness. and kindness. And and knowing that Rebecca's team had come last and also knowing that her team had come last, she knew that. So she she found some some real Humility, and she came over to Rebecca and she, just, she exercised joy. Jesus she did others. yourself, and that's amazing. That you know, in life we can do Why that. Why do I have to be the bad person? You don't you always have to bad. be, and you're not bad. And you know, it's just a story. But you know what? It's a, it's a good story. It's a good story. 
And you know what? When wait, you... wait, 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 wait. Where, where are we? We're not even on this page. Yeah. So, no, in life... We're on October. I know. We're just going back a bit, so don't stress. Come. And it's Stephen's soccer team end. Yeah, I changed us. the name to Rebecca and Sarah Lee. So, but that's not the focus of the story. And it's great. Story. That's the focus of the story, girl. Next, do you want great? Anyway. Great. So as yes, we, please. As we venture into this new se season of joy, um... And you're going into school now for your last term. It's amazing. Let's focus here. Bex, you're two all over the place at the moment. Yeah. And, and as we go into this um, new season of joy, Lord, we ask that you'd fill us for this last term and that the girls will understand that they are going to be moving into a new school next year. So this is the last term at their school. So they must learn to okay. say goodbye to some. It's not technically a new school, it's like it's the not, same school, it's but... same school, just a different premises, that's yeah. all. And different, it's a lot bigger, isn't it? You're going to venture mm. off into... So... It's bigger than Browndale. It's much bigger, yes. But you know what, you girls are going to embrace it, and, and obviously you're going to show humility to all your people that you meet, your new people. And let's pray that the Lord will, will bring you good friends quickly. And, uh, yeah, and then we the can... The is going, so I'm not worried. You're not worried, no. Sarah Lee's not worried either. She's going to meet new people and she's going to have her old friends too from her old school. And she'll see them. And eventually they'll all, come, they'll all come to school and Sarah Lee will already know all the things about the school. So she'll be able to help them, eh? When they come a little bit, when Jasmine and all of them come a little bit a year later. Yeah, like when Tatum's so, going to come. Yeah. So we thank you for that, Lord, and we thank you that you can always be sharing and guiding this and is not to me. helping us. Anyway, shall we pray? Yes. Father, we thank you. We thank you that, Lord, you are always looking upon us and helping us with humility. We thank you for the great help that you give today in compassion. And Lord, as we, 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 we learn to have compassion for others, Father, that you teach us to, to walk in, 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 in your will and walk in your spirit. So Father, today we ask that you would fill us with your spirit. Guide us in the direction that you want us to go. Father, may we be awesome vessels for you today. And may we continue to show love and continue to show compassion and humility to others. And Lord, may we continue to show humility and compassion within our own family. And as we grow together in love, we, we share this love, Lord, that you have given us through the power of your Holy Spirit. And thank you, Father, that you are always, always working with us and not against us. So we pray in the name of Jesus that the Holy Spirit will come and come Holy Spirit, come into our lives, come into to our schools, come into our business, come into divine innovation, come into Alpha, come into Invitational Church, come into the welcome team, the prayer teams, come into every area of this life that we are experiencing, come into our friends, family, Come into our schools, our teachers, come into relatives, come into this country, Lord, and help each and every one that is experiencing a little bit of pain, Lord. We know that Sean's going through stuff, so Father, we ask that you would bless his, his ointments and his treatments, Lord, and those that are in, in going through stuff, Father, we ask that you would just nourish them and grind them. Yes, Father, we know that Frosty's missing and Lord that you would you would find him and bring him home safely. And we pray all these things in our wonderful name, Lord Jesus. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Bye-bye.